it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting the Containers booth. Uh, can you tell me about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Yes, uh, thanks for giving me the time. So basically, we are trying to show how we are making networking boring. Uh, this is uh, the reason to be for Containers. We are basically cloud native. Uh, we were created by a founder who decided that there was no easy way of handling the networking complexities in the cloud native environment. And that's when he decided to, learn, to create traffic, um, which uh, is now, four years later, 1.3 billion downloads, uh, one of the top 10 uh, uh, products as far as number of downloads here on Docker Hub. And uh, how do you fit into the Kubernetes ecosystem? And you know, what specific problems do you solve? So typically, we fit in very well. We are cloud native. We're also legacy compliant, but definitely created as cloud native solution. Uh, as I said, to, uh, uh, around uh, networking and that many aspects of the networking, not only the ingress, so some people refer to the north-south aspect of the network, but also, most recently, we announced our solution to cover the service mesh aspect, so east-west. And I understand you had some announcements around the show. Can you uh, maybe share that with our viewers? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was actually a very uh, active uh, time for us. We uh, announced the general availability of mesh, which is uh, our proposition to service mesh. Uh, as always, very simple, covering 99.9% .9 of what anybody probably will ever need uh, from uh, an east-west management. So that, that was announced and it became generally available today. Uh, we're also announcing a new version of our uh, traffic edition, the 2.1, and we launched our ambassador progr uh, program, which will basically uh, leverage, animate our, our user base, our community, uh, to make sure that they contribute ever more to uh, the, the life and uh, the evolution of our, of our product, committing to uh, open source. Great. And would it be possible for us to maybe get a peek at the product, take a demo? Most certainly. Let, uh, let's take a look. So what are you going to show us? Okay, cool. Uh, today I will show you the dashboard of our traffic ingress controller to make sure to see what you're actually going to see. So that is the entry point in our application to the dashboard, let's say. If you just install traffic, you will see exactly that. What I just did, I already deployed some services so that we have something to see. What you can see on that screen easily is that the application is currently listening on four different ports, which will like be used to connect to it from the outside. However, the way more important part is actually starting at the HTTP, because as we are an ingress controller, we like control HTTP traffic and let it go through. So if you want to actually see what traffic discovered, because there is an auto discovery in place to detect all the services running in Kubernetes, we hit the HTTP routers tab. So here we can see that we currently have three services running inside our Kubernetes cluster, inside the Kubernetes application. One of that is what we actually see, because that's the dashboard. So we see that the dashboard is currently listening on a certain host and is, uh, is configured through, through a configuration file. However, way more important and way more interesting to actually look at are these two lines, because they describe that we have an application listening on a certain URL, in that case it's webapp.docker.localhost, and that we also have one listening on webapp.docker.localhost, but that one is uh, secured by TLS, so the application traffic is making sure that, they, that there is a TLS certificate present for that particular service. So if we then, for example, check that service in the middle, we see all the configuration details that are being auto-discovered from the Kubernetes API. So we can see that this application or this router is currently connected to the uh, entry point, point 80, which is the typical web application port. 
that it has also a middleware configured, which we call redirect scheme, to actually redirect all HTTP traffic to HTTPS. And that once this redirection is done, it's hitting this particular service. So if we therefore go back to the router view and take the other one, we can see that the one is being redirected to is, uh, is listening on 443, which is the default HTTPS port. So the uh, traffic application is making sure that this is like the way it should be. And which is pretty cool because in the TLS tab, we see that it auto configured itself to be TLS on. So HTTPS is available for that service and that it's using a specific resolver to really make sure that this is like working the way it should be working. If we then hit back for the dashboard, just for the last, we can see that we also have some, some, like, some overview about uh, are all things successful? Do we have warning? Do we have errors to actually track down errors in case there are some? And if we just scroll down for a bit, we also can see the status of what we call the global features. So we can see that in the current installation, the access logs, for example, are turned on. Metrics are off because we are running in a local environment, same as go for tracing. And we also see all, um, all providers our traffic application is currently listening to. And in this case, it's Kubernetes because right, we're at KubeCon, so we need to listen to Kubernetes. And that we're also going for the sub-45 provider. And that's essentially it. Great. And um, where can people go if they want to try this out or get more information if about it? If you want it? to try that out, you can either go on traffic.io because that's the page of, of like our open source product. There are links to GitHub, for example, to check out the repository immediately. Or you just go and trap, uh, on GitHub on yourself. So github.com slash container slash traffic. And that's it. From there, you're ready to go. Great. Thanks for taking the time to Thanks. speak with VMblog. No problem.